dear students now we are coming back to review those important estimates that help to make the breeding decision that is whether we are implementing either mating of various or distant breeds or we are selecting or combining both methods all right so before the uh, selection decision or the breeding decision is taken the following elements must be estimated we have the breeding value was done before we have the selection index that doesn't only consider the genetic merit of individuals but also added to that the economic value of each of the particular trait or selection criteria then the estimate of the heritability and the prediction of the future response that is the performance of the offspring before the mating even happened all right now for the breeding value we'll just give you the formula once more because this was already uh, reviewed so you have uh, three various formulae here according to the type of information we have gathered or we have to at our disposal so when the irritability and the repeatability are both known the second formula is the best to estimate but when only the irritability is known the first and then if the repeatability is known but the irritability not known the third formula is implemented okay now what is the selection index this is an estimation of the overall genetic value of the breeding candidates taking into account both the total breeding value and the relative economic importance of the different traits why is this very important because commonly in practice it is difficult to select animal based only on one character since many traits are transmitted together probably due to dependence between the traits or genetic interaction between the genes well uh, the selection index is noted as here presented where b j z j represents the ponderation of the breeding value and that of the economical value for as many traits as we consider for the selection process here j vary from the first trait to the nth traits okay now this equation is here presented where we have a1 ve1 as the terms for the first selection criteria or trait a2 and ve2 40 second so here we have n trait that we are considering in the selection matrix or in the selection process fine now once the breeding value the selection index are all uh, calculated it's still good to either consider the value of the heritability or to just estimate it if you don't have it at hand and how is it done so remember this formula we use when we're estimating the genetic correlation using the uh, tract method now if the phenotype is equal to one it is being demonstrated that the heritability value is equal to the additive variance okay let demonstrate that if we consider the phenotypic uh, relation or equation that is phenotype is equal to the genetic effect that is the additive effect plus the environmental effect we can get the genetic models as we saw before by having the performance of the phenotype is equal to 
the average mean plus the effects due to the genes or genetic merit plus the effect attributed to the environment now by considering now from here small a is equal to p minus mu minus e we realize that the performance minus the mean of the group is a deviation and what is used to represent the deviation is the standard deviation so small a is a standard deviation fine here if the environment is being controlled that is either all the groups are rare or bred under the same environmental condition therefore the if the environment is equal to zero from this consideration we have a that is the deviation of the mean and by changing the variable as we just defined we'll find that small a is equal to the standard deviation of the additive effect and is equal to h and therefore what is the square of the standard deviation it is a variance hence we have the formula of the variance all right now using relation o if we square all the terms of the equation we find out that a plus e squared is equal to this and this help us to have the relationship between the phenotypic variance the additive variance and the environmental variance bearing in mind that the covariance is equal to zero fine now from this we come back to our relation that is irritability is equal to additive variance therefore A here can be noted as square root of the irritability, that is the additive effect. And since we know that the environment effect is equal to the phenotype minus the genetic effect, we deduct the value of the environment effect. These are the components we use in the methods in the tract methods of the estimate of the genetic correlations okay now another important uh, element to estimate is the potential production the predicted production is an anticipated determination of what will be the performance the next performance of the animals so for this some information must be available like the number of records or the number of repetitions of the performance the, re the repeatability sorry must be known and also the mean of n number of performances must be known or estimated Therefore, we have predicted production is equal to overall mean of the performance or of the population plus this quantity where P N is equal to the performance, average performance, sorry, of N measurements R is equal to the repeatability of the thread so fellow students we'll stop here for now and thanks for watching and see you for the next element